to the uh, train tutorial, and now we'll be working on sculpting and making hills. So start out under sculpt mode, and now you find what you want, like start out in what angle you want, and then press N or sculpt sculpt properties to pull up this menu and this is where you control your little call it paintbrush so like for example add you know like add height you might not have been able to see that and then you can subtract and then you can like alter the strength of how much it'll add like you might be able to see that a little bit better Um. All right, the grab thing, that grab button is where you grab an object or an area, and grab it, inflate. Well, inflate it that much, like raising it. It's so like if you walk near that edge, you'll see it'll go up a little bit. And but the strength isn't that much, so you want to increase the strength. Now, if you look carefully, it is rising. No, I haven't zoomed out pretty far because I got a big level, but yeah, you can see it's raising a little bit. And then you could subtract by bringing, working on it, bringing it down by doing that. Now you see the train is going down. And then you can smooth stuff out, like that still looks all rough. If you see two really bumpy areas, just go over it like that. Increase the strength and size of the brush again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start making like hills and just deforming the place. So, like I put it in grab. That seems a little big so I'm gonna bring the size down. And then it's gonna start clicking and dragging making this little say crevice deeper and then, like you can make lakes or hills or ditches stuff like that with this if you want like make people you can alter their face with this this is a good way to do that but on YouTube there's some pretty good videos that way anyway just like just, just to show you but you can get pretty detailed like this Make some tributaries or some, you know, rivers. So now you got like a little pond, I guess you could call it. Without the water. And then I want to maybe now make some hills. Here's one way. And then you can, of course, just click and drag it. Click and drag, work on that. And then I want something really big, so. Bring that up a little bit. Yeah, I'm just starting to deform the land, maybe make a crater over here, you know, shake things up. You know, make as detailed as you want your map. And then the next way to make like hills and such, go into edit mode. And this little looks like a donut, you could say. Put it on on, and then th it's gonna create hills. So like if I click that one right there, zoom a little bit. If I click that one, I pull up. It's not just pulling that one up; it's pulling the ones around it. Because if you look carefully. Look carefully, there's a little circle that adjusts that adjusts like how 
yeah there it is right there that's like the influence that's what's going to be like influencing so you can like click inside that little circle to make it bigger and smaller or no you click in there and then you use your scroll but once you change the size it affects what it's grabbing so for now I'll like grab that one the G key bring that up and middle of the hill and then another setting right now I add on smooth if I want like a rounder like a hill uh, like a hobbit hole or something from Lord of the Rings which you can grab again we're gonna see how it's rounder now and see as I scroll out I make that circle bigger so it's influencing more more land and as I scroll in it gets smaller and if you want like some really sharp cliffs or spikes or something once again grab it there you go and it's like affecting it more as I scroll in and out so I can make like some pretty cool objects like that you know you will make like a mountainous level or something maybe craters depending on what you're doing and if you want you can work with like more of these like random I haven't really worked with that yet but let's see what that does grab something yep it's like pulling them up at random so I guess you could say it's a different version of fractal but you still have to already have all the vertices and then try that and more open area bring them up I'll raise the area of influence now it's at, now it's like increasing all the ones it affects so I guess you can make a plane do that and then subdivide it if you don't like a whole bunch of them where I just have like a little bit of a ripple as if there's a rocky outcrop or something now those could be like rocks you can pick up or something I don't know, you just gotta mess around with this to find what you like, but you go back in the tab and you got all that. And those are just basic ways to, you know, mess around with your land. And then here's a preview of something I've done and I'm currently working on. Alright, the lighting's a little off, but you can see, I guess you'd call it, you know, just like a barren area, and that's wa uh, water, wait, no, not water, that's lava, but as you see, I've just gone in there, I started, I fractaled it, and I started using the sculpting mode, by pushing in like right there, pulling stuff up, increasing height, decreasing height, I made all these little lakes and little water beds, and you can get pretty detailed, and then like, I go into camera view. Hopefully it'll show the show the preview. Yep, there you go. And that's lava for mine. And it also has animation so when it plays the lava moves and hopefully I can get into that at some point. And I'm sure you'd love to learn that. And for for now, that's how you create a basic terrain for your FPS.